Juggling was one of my biggest frustrations in football. When I was 16, I could barely do 20 juggles. I remember coming to the football field and seeing how a girl was juggling the ball better than me. There were times when I was ashamed even to come to the football pitch until she is gone. But now I can confidently say that I went through a long way of trials and errors and I finally mastered my juggling skills. And today I will share with you how you can improve your juggling skills even faster than me. Our goal is to learn to juggle the ball not with the toes because this type of juggling is more aimed for freestyle. But our goal is to learn to juggle the ball with the laces of our feet because these juggles we can apply in football matches and in football trainings. And if you are a footballer and not a football freestyler, this tip is so crucial for you because at the beginning I didn't follow this tip and it was my biggest mistake that caused me a dismissing from the football club. Firstly, I learned to juggle with my toes and I could do more than 100 juggles and I was so happy. But once on the training we needed to do this exercise. One person throws you the ball and you need to juggle the ball up to your knee, then up to your head and then give the ball back to your partner with your head. But if you try to do this exercise with your toe, it will be so uncomfortable or not really possible. The same if you try to juggle with your toes with the partner. It is possible but with a lot of problems and inconveniences. So our goal is to learn to juggle with the laces because this type of juggling will help us a lot in many different football situations. Don't point your foot completely down because the ball will bounce away from you. Point your foot slightly up. That will allow the ball to bounce straight back up. Also, don't point your toes too much on yourself. Your standing position should be with slightly bended knees. Also, don't juggle the ball with the straight legs. When you move your leg to the ball, your knee should be bended. When it's time to juggle the ball up, your knee should be straightened. Drop the ball to the feet. You can do it with the bounce from the ground or you can drop it direct to your feet. When you are able to do one accurate juggle with your left foot, one accurate juggle with your right foot, then try to do two juggles, then try to do three juggles, then try to do four juggles, then try to do five juggles. When you get to the five, you can try to juggle the ball without hands and try to set a new record. Practice, consistency and patience. Here is very important to understand that after watching one of such videos on YouTube, you're not gonna juggle immediately. You need to practice. Your training should be consistent. I'm gonna say to you that one training a week to master your juggling skills is not enough. In my case it was 5 or 6 trainings a week for 30 minutes to master my juggling. But it was mostly not about time but about beating my previous record. I would say to myself, yesterday I had juggled 38, today I'm not gonna leave the pitch until I juggle 39 or more. So my advice for you, set a 30 day juggling challenge for yourself and juggle a ball for 30 minutes every day with errors and failures or juggle until you beat your previous record every day for 30 days. And then you go to the comments under my video and you write down the date and how many juggles you did a certain day. But if you don't see any results after the first day or first week, don't be frustrated. Just go on and then compare your day 1 and day 30 and you will see enormous growth. At the beginning, try to learn to juggle the ball with your both feet. When you master that, try to learn to juggle the ball separately with your left foot and separately with your right foot. Don't be hard on yourself. Sometimes it can be a strong wind that ruins your juggles or other factors. So instead, try to enjoy the process and subscribe to my channel.